The conditional statements in C++ allow us to execute different code blocks based on different conditions. The if statement will execute only if the expression inside the parenthesis is evaluated to true. In C++, this does not have to be a Boolean expression. It can be anything that evaluates to a number, in which case 0 is false and all other numbers are true. To test for other conditions, we can extend the if statement with any number of else if clauses. We can also have one else clause at the end, which will execute if all previous conditions are false. As for the curly brackets, they can be left out if we only need to execute a single statement conditionally. Next we have the switch statement, which checks for equality between an integer and a series of case labels, and then passes execution to the matching case. It may contain any number of case clauses, and it can end with a default label for handling all other cases. Note that the statements after each case label end with a break keyword to skip the rest of the switch. If we leave out the break, execution will fall through to the next case, which can be useful if several cases needs to be evaluated in the same way. In addition to the if and switch statements, there's the ternary operator that can replace a single else if clause when it assigns values to a variable. This operator takes three expressions. If the first one is evaluated to true, the second expression is returned, and if it's false, the third one is returned. The expressions can be any statements that return values. For example, we can let the expressions contain the assignments themselves, in which case the assigned value will be returned. 